Hello again, welcome to today's attempt of a step door puzzle where it's Z day. Yes, the last letter of the alphabet gets its special day on the first day of the year, I'm pretty sure that's deliberate. Z is always last, so they've deliberately made its special day the first of the year. Clearly the best day of the year because Z clearly is the best letter. Um, not that I'm biased in any way. So, basically to celebrate this, I'm going to be using Zs in all of my guesses, specifically words starting with Z. So we'll start with zero, and let's hope that I don't get zero greens and yellows. And I have. So that's a little bit annoying. So right off the bat, I'm going to have to just make up a new word that goes completely off theme, just to use four new letters. <laughs> I don't know why I tried main. I just wanted to try the A and the I, and that was the first word that sprang to mind, because I couldn't try rain. And I got very lucky there. So it's going to be mind or mint, isn't it? I much prefer my mind to mint, but it is mint. That's annoying. Anyway, we will move on with zebra. And that has worked significantly better, hasn't it? We've got two letters from my starting guesses. I'm not expecting Zs to be in any of these words, but I'll be happy if they are in at least one of them. Oh, the B is not first. Now that is very interesting then. So where is this B going to be? I would have thought maybe second, because I would be thinking something like a bait or a bash. Can't be either of those, it could be a back. I don't like repeating the A, but I think this might be the most likely option, given that the B can't be first. And I am not taken aback by that. I was fully expecting five greys, but I'm still a bit happy to get them. Delighted and relieved. Um, that is not a very common word. I'm really happy to get that into three. We will move on to the six letter zombie. Oh, that's not a great start, is it? Just the E. So we will try castle. That's where you might find a zombie, I suppose. That's not really helped either. Crikey. So are we going to have a duplicated A or E? Are we going to have a U? What do I think is most likely? I'm going to try Grange. I don't like repeating the G. I said that on the previous one, that I didn't like repeating the A. But, I mean, there definitely could be an A-G-E ending, even if this word is wrong. <laughs> there actually is a duplicated G. That's so lucky. I think it has to be Engage. Very happy to get that duplicated E's and G's. That really could have been difficult. I'd take a fourth of that any day of the week. Right, surely I'm going to get more than just a single letter with this. I'm going to try Zealous as my seven letter one. We're trying four different vowels. That's got to be a good idea, hasn't it? Wow, the ending has worked a lot better than the start. No E's or A's. And sadly, this means we didn't have a Z in any of these four words, which is Disappointing, but not completely surprising. So what's the ending of this word going to be? I think they don't generally have plurals. So the fact that it ends in S is very suspicious. Especially because it can't be a less or a ness word, because we can't use the E. And it also clearly can't be an O-U-S or an I-O-U-S word. So maybe something like out-miss, is that even a word? I don't think it's likely to be correct, but I'm tempted to go for it just to give myself some more information, because clearly it could be an O-U-T beginning. But is that the most sensible thing to do? In fact, let's just try outing, so that's a much better guess, because that lets me, that's, for a start it's definitely a word, and it lets me try the I as well. I was not correct, and it's not an O-U-T ending, so I've not learnt a lot on that guess. At least I know it's not out-miss. Um, so what are we going to do? What is the ending going to be to this word? O-U-R-S? That's definitely a plausible ending. I keep thinking contours, but of course that can't quite be correct for a couple of reasons, actually. And it can't be furious or anything like that. It really does look like it could be a con beginning. If 
then we would have to put the U somewhere, possibly there. Then we would have to end with the S. Confers, consoles, none of these things quite work, do they? Um, no, none of them do work at all. Even conducts, I want to do that without the T. Um, circus, contours, all of these words that use the O and the U, but the fact that I can't put the O and the U directly before the S makes it a lot trickier. So what am I going to do instead? It can't even be colours or something as simple as that. And of course, there's no guarantee there's even a C. So, what is a sensible thing to do here? That's, that's the question. I've given up trying to think of something that might have a double S at the end. Now I'm just trying to do something that's a plural. Coupons, that's a word. It can't be correct because the O can't be fifth. But I'm going to try this and hope that it gives me some useful information. And it's, it is going to be a C-O-N beginning, isn't it? That's exactly what I was thinking a second ago. I just don't know what this word is. That's not helped at all. <sighs> what if the N is there instead? That's the one thing that I didn't consider earlier. Then we would have this pattern. What would that sixth and third letters be? It can't be columns. So what can it be? I feel like we would want to be using the R, wouldn't we? Com could be a duplicated N. That's another option. I really don't know. I'm just going to try confers because I want to try the F and the R and I want to confirm whether the N is third or fourth. The F is, the N is third. So what on earth is this word then? Con. Oh, concuss, duplicated C, and it's not a plural. Definitely should have got that faster. It's a little bit frustrating. It could have been something like a 4343. Four, that would have been a much nicer pattern. As it is, we had four guesses left, so it wasn't quite down to the wire. Fairly comfortable in the end due to a few good serves earlier on, but a little bit of a disappointing finish. Anyway, that is the Steptal Puzzle. Thank you for watching. Happy January the 1st or January the 2nd or whenever you're watching this. And now go and celebrate the letter Z. Bye for now.